Hey traders, Nick Shaheen here. A um, couple of comments about charts in general and how we can get help or how we can get smarter at better at trading. How about that? Um, timing. I'm not looking to uh, get perfect entries and exits. My goal is to avoid the obvious mistake. And there is information in the chart that is absolutely uh, necessary and easy to get. Uh, 40 trained eye and I'm not talking somebody that needs to be like a Wall Street guru uh, I'm not from Wall Street I'm an engineer who figured out the stuff uh, on my own with the help of a couple of friends along the way um, so I'm gonna try and share one specific example to illustrate the importance of charts and spending a few minutes looking at charts either the ones you you draw yourself if you know how to do it or if somebody hands you an email every morning with information what to do with it so this is the QQQ today is 510 it was an ugly day in the market especially for the Q's uh, what was the end of the day two and a half percent down so how could we have been somewhat ready for it to make a long story short going into last week's pop on the bad jobs number my expectations was that it was a relief pop because the jobs number was not good um, because that would have put tapering pressure on the Fed. And anyway, long story short is I expected downside. So I said bear, 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 meaning bring some bearish positions and shorted Visa, shorted a few things nicely to balance out a portfolio. And those are all green now. Um, this is not to toot that horn. This is to say that specifically within the day, we can get smarter. So this is the chart untouched. I'm going to put... Um, so somebody that chased here wasn't paying attention uh, or didn't get the email or just forgot about it and somebody I'm getting a lot of questions here as to can we go lower first of all I can't tell the future but I know what lines are important so speaking of let's put the lines I shared this morning this morning the email went out it did not have that action clearly it had that bubble it had this bubble it had uh, this saying if they take that out it's a mini trigger higher with resistance for today through Wednesday versus goal seeking to this bubble and if they lose this bubble then lower we go needs revisiting for the last week I've been saying that so we've been stuck up here wondering if we're gonna fall and I'm having this message in every chart needs revisiting support clusters look prior support was resistance here so these bubbles are not um, coincidences and if we lose this sure we can go lower tomorrow are we going to lose it I don't know I know for a fact that if we pop we're gonna have resistance going into 330 and 332 so I don't chase it going into that and that would be my message tomorrow it's a resistance zone but I will have another one down here for the message into tomorrow so what would the message tomorrow look like I don't want to predict right now but I'm going to show you what it would look like so this was the, the one today before the action happened goal seek guess what beeline for the goal seek and um, slightly below it so given that this is a weird looking gap here I'm not going to say that immediately below the yellow line is a disaster but losing this and that is not encouraging then but they're still close enough to where it's not the end of the world in the QQQ and this is a 60 minute candle by the way each candle is one hour so the job on the bulls tomorrow is to first pop above this failure point and then use it as support like show me you can hold it then try to negotiate your way up so look at the blue red that was today uh, this morning so the channel is still ascending with a topping formation so this is where they call that consolidation so if the consolidation slides you can't see the numbers here on the right I'm sorry but anyway if the consolidation slides right a long time then they'll that ascending channel will flatten out and then the bulls would really need to hold otherwise it becomes ominous right so the lines look busy but th these are minute like if I go to a daily chart these would like be on top of each other mean nothing but so I would use another chart for the long-term perspective so look that is pretty busy right so I can't make sense of it in that case I would just say look bulls are in charge they're towards the end then I can get some uh, intelligence out of that but 
I show the lines. These are intraday lines to get me intelligence within the day. Sometimes we go to 15 minute candles or 30 minute candles, but whoops, the job tomorrow is recover the, um, the neck you're losing. So they closed here. You want to get back above this guy and stay there to swing back. Face your sellers here, face your sellers here, face your sellers into 32 and here for sure. So every ledge they tried to hold on the way down is going to be a problem on the way up. So why not lose this and not worry about it? Because that looks like a huge inverse cup and handle, whatever it is. It's a neckline that if you lose it, they're going to fall about this much this way. And it wouldn't change a thing. So now we're talking a little bit more. Um, whoops, sorry. I'm running out of energy here. Um, let's see. Okay, so if somebody is considering this extension, halfway through this extension is somewhere around 320. If somebody's considering this extension, halfway through this is about 318. So you drop this much, you bounce half normal price action, then you come back and you establish footing, you pop out, and then if you come back and give half the rally you just gave up, also normal price action. What am I saying? I'm saying it can fall to 320, 318, wouldn't change a thing. The bull will still be in charge, it will be a die buy to dip moment. If somebody's freaking out here, then they're freaking out for no reason. This was a top, they should try to hold it. There's a gap, they can not hold it and come down to 320 and make everybody happy. In fact, 315, 14 would be even better. Not for me, but for the technicians out there. So don't freak out. And this, these skills are so easy to gain. You just need to practice them over and over. If I, I'm going to check my schedule, I don't know. If I have time, I'm going to put a link in the description to some private one-on-one uh, -on -one, like Zoom sessions to share the knowledge. Uh, they won't be free clearly because it's a lot of work. It'd be like 90 minute burst. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll share what I know, which is, I think everything, all I need to know. And look, there are no tools. I don't have MACD. I don't have RSI. I don't have anything. I have the volume profile here as a secondary thing, but all I need is eyeballs. That's it. And the concept is so easy. It's, it, it's something I, I would learn once and apply for a lifetime. All right, Nick signing out. Hopefully this helps somebody get some clarity. A, open your emails because I send them out every day before the market opens and um, they, they are guides to me. I would do them even if I'm not sharing them, uh, but it, it was there. So the potential was there. Nick signing out.